Happy Easter, everybody. I'm making this video because of a conversation I had with a couple, Tiff and Alan, last Thursday. And they told me something that sat with me so hard that I have to make a video. They said that they're afraid to get into the hobby because of the current toxic climate online. Ugh. My soul. That right there is the proof that I hoped didn't exist, that we're scaring away the next generation of comic collectors with our negativity. She said that there's too many, I loved this term, gatekeeping neck beards out there. I had to make sure I trimmed up the neck just for this video. Basically what that means is essentially dudes that don't let you get into a hobby or just absolutely bum rush you in the comments if you feel some type of way, most commonly right now, about CGC. By the way, I was half thinking about dressing up like Britney Spears from the Toxic Music video, but I thought that was a little higher budget and uh, I think my message might get a little lost. So I'm not gonna be dressing in drag today. In a non-toxic gesture, why don't we do a giveaway exclusively for this video? Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment on down below. I'm gonna choose one of your comments to be the winner of an X-Men Prime number one first appearance of Marrow. Instagram and YouTube content creators get more views if it's negative. It's just how the algorithm works. It seems to really reward those saying nasty things. And I talk with fellow community members all the time about how I think that is causing an actual repercussion within the community. There are entire YouTube channels and Instagram accounts devoted to the negative dumps because it, that does get you good views, it does. There's a downside though, man, dang. I have a buddy who owns an Instagram account and he said he was feeling lost, a little burnt out and kind of just not really into it anymore. And I said, yeah, man, that's because all you do is complain about the hobby. Every time you do that, it chips another piece away from you. And he agreed that he feels guilty about putting negativity into the airwaves because it does change how people think. Not many people at all do this, but just enough do it that it does have a poisonous effect. And the reality is whether we want to call ourselves influencers or not, whether you have 200 Instagram followers or you have 100 YouTube subscribers, you have the power of influencing people. And people can be impressionable. I'm gonna give you the perfect example. There was a YouTube video that I saw not too long ago where someone said something, and I'm not gonna give the exact quote, so I'm gonna paraphrase. They're raining unicorns on my nippled forefathers. Again, paraphrasing there, but it was such a unique, very specific comment that you can imagine my shock when in my own antique shop, some dude came in to talk about comics and was talking about the state of everything going on with grading and said, yeah, man, they're just really raining unicorns on my forefathered nipples. No, no. Your words very clearly have an impact. And it occurred to me that, you know what? I have a 30,000 subscriber YouTube channel. I should be talking about the things that I don't like seeing. And the sad thing is when I talk to people about comics right now, we never talk about the time Hulk fought Quasimodo and the Spider-Man power pack one shot. It seems to be all this talk about where the culture is with collecting right now. And a lot of times specifically grading. And there's such a CGC specific witch hunt in which recently things came to light that CGC missed and it sucked. CGC ate the bullet for it and they're working on fixing it. But what happened is like everybody with an Instagram account, they're just trying to put out negative opinions too, just to be part of that train. You can't even defend CGC right now without getting a dog pile on you, getting blamed that you're part of the system and blah, 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 blah. shut up. There is such a difference between drinking the Kool-Aid and just being a yes man, recognizing faults within a company like CGC and eating a different Kool-Aid and just regurgitating misinformation. And misinformation is rampant. People are flinging it every which way. I see it on my Instagram account. I see it on my YouTube homepage. CGC mentioned that they'd open up a 9.9 .9 pre-screen option. I'm of the opinion that I don't think it would change anything. I have my reasons. I've submitted 8,000 CGC comic books before. I've gotten like five 9.9s in the history of every book I've ever submitted. And they all were not standard comic books. They were all foils or heavier stock paper. Even now, I'm holding back. I'm too scared to say an opinion that, you know what? Yes, there was a giant size X-Men that got a 9.9. .9. 
There's a lot of keys out there that have had a 9.9. .9. This is the first one that existed, and yeah, it does look like a 9.9. .9. But everybody wants to start shit. That is causing people to be harassed. That is causing new people wanting to get into the hobby to not get in the hobby. That is causing people that want to send their books out to get graded to be too scared to do so. Oh, James, you get books graded, so you're just part of the system. Yeah, man, I've used every single grading company. I still outwardly say I think CBCS is the best, and I know if there's a problem with CGC. Do I get really weird about it? I have. I don't anymore. Who remembers the time that I got really pissed that CGC lowered a bunch of my CBCS 9.8s? I don't make those videos anymore because I realized that every time you make one of those negative dumps, it takes a part away from you. You feel guilty for absolutely putting negativity into the airspace. I'm not interested in feeling that way anymore. I love this hobby. I love getting books graded. It's fun. Why do you have to neckbeard gatekeep those that do like getting their books submitted? Why do you have to gatekeep those that do collect incentive variant covers? Why do you have to gatekeep those that only collect for the covers alone and not the story? You're not better. You know, it's so cliche to say, but you should collect however you want and leave people alone, and people aren't doing that. And it's very clear that it's because of these scandalous YouTube videos and Instagram posts that just absolutely crap on all things grading in the hobby. Don't hop on that negative train, man. It's not good for you, and it sure as hell isn't good for the growth of this hobby. It poisons it, and it scares away people. If you think raw is better, you are in the majority. 98% of people don't get books slabbed. So that's cool. Just do what you're doing. Collect how you want to collect. And so the YouTube channels that go out of their way on making specifically negative only content, there's a cost. And it also sucks to those that have put in a lot of hard work to expose the CGC scandal and did a good job educating the members of the community. And there, that, that was real. There was real fact behind there. There was hard work. There was dedication, probably some long, tireless nights. And you know what? A positive outcome came out of that. But people want to chase that negative high. Whenever I see a comment like, oh, comic books are going the way of the Beanie Babies and uh, 9.8s are a thing of the past. Dude, stop. Chill with the hyperbole, brother. You might think it's an innocent comment, but people take that the wrong way. A lot of people out there don't get sarcasm. This is a drama-free YouTube channel. It will remain that way. I'm trying to pour my time into something I love and fostering more love for that hobby. So the next time you fire off at someone in the comments or start writing paragraphs, pause and think, does this help anything or am I part of the problem? I'll see you all at the next video. Keep on hunting. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.